you know, we've been talking about this now for seven, ten years. Um, I pray that the legislature does not come back and ask for another study. We've had five studies in the last ten years. Each study has come back with the same results, that we're 200 million plus uh, short of meeting our critical needs. The, uh, uh, there is absolutely, I mean, it, this is the longest period of time in the history of Iowa since we've had the gas tax since 1925. This is the longest period we've got gone without increasing the, uh, the, uh, uh, the user fee. There's absolutely no reason why um, we should put it off any longer. I mean, the, the need is there. We've had people tell us that, oh, well, I, I'll take a look at it after we've, we've looked at savings. As uh, Director pointed out, the DOT's done a great job of, of uh, looking at their program. They, there's, what, a thousand fewer employees than there were 10, 12 years ago. They've reduced uh, uh, field offices uh, by 39, I believe. So we can't save ourselves into this. It's time to, to, uh, to do what needs to be done. Going back over the years, we could increase registration fees, we could increase license fees, we could increase trailer fees, all these number of things that we could do. My position is all along, it's time to do what we should do and should have done all along, and that's increase the user fee. It's the most fair system we have. It's paid for by the people that use the highways. It's the only way we have to collect money from people outside of Iowa that use our highways. You know, when you have groups like the uh, Iowa Motor Truck Association, and there's nobody that burns more fuel than, than trucking companies, and they're one of the biggest proponents we have for increasing the fuel tax. It takes, it takes an average truck 58 gallons to cross the state, to just to drive across the state. And they're calling for an increase in user fees because they know that a safe and efficient system is the best thing for their business and for the safety of their drivers and the vehicles around their trucks. My